Welcome to our strategy session on alerts. You can see here that I'm in a direct message right now. One of the other things you can do is you can also set up channels. So for example, we've set up a, a channel called priority alerts, and then we've also set up a general alerts channel. So this is really helpful uh, because if you have a group of people and they wanna manage uh, alerts for customer service and sales and separate those alerts, or you have, uh, you know, you get a lot of no response alerts. You know, you don't want to be alerted every time you get one of those. You might put those alerts into a specific channel. So let's say I send a message like, so you'll see here this channel lit up and there is uh, the message I just sent. So this is the no response alert. And if I send another alert, like, uh, you know, I'm angry again, so our no response alerts and our sentiment alerts, uh, they go into this channel and you're probably wondering, well, why didn't you get a notification in the, your direct message with Janice? And that's because uh, I've disabled those alerts. Uh, so if I just say alerts to Janice and you'll see you get this one reply, Janice replies to your message. And you'll see here that our bot Janice on Facebook, uh, all these alerts are disabled. I have custom alerts enabled and these are uh, alerts that are triggered when a user hits a dialog flow intent. Um, so you can just click uh, manage and uh, I don't have any custom alerts, but let's say I want to go to this, this part of the bot here and uh, we have a section if you're an agency. So let's say I click that. So Let's say I want to know if somebody who's visiting our bot uh, is an agency. Uh, what we can do is we just search our dialogue flow intents. And I have, a, um, I have an, uh, an intent called agencies. And I have an, also an intent for if they click this button, tell me more. So I'll just click agencies. And you'll see here that uh, the alert was, is now added. Uh, and let's say the user, oh, let's close this. Let's... Uh, Let's say they, they hit this intent. We're an agency. So now you'll see I got a custom alert and uh, I can then go to the conversation and I can uh, click this link, join this channel, and uh, I might take over live and, and then start chatting with a prospective agency about using Janus. Now, the other thing is this, we have these priority alerts this is a priority alerts channel. And uh, that's really if somebody needs human support. So if they say um, help or assistance or agent or start chat, we consider these high priority and they go into this channel. If you're not familiar with how to create a channel or how to uh, add Janice to a channel, uh, you can just click uh, this channels and you click uh, plus and you can create a channel. Let's say I call this a bot project and I can invite other people into the channel right away. So I can invite uh, uh, users that I also want to get the alerts. Um, and, I, and if I don't do that right away, that's okay. So you can see here, there's a bot project. And what you'll wanna probably do is star this channel. That'll move it to the top. So you might have a lot of channels um, but the channels that we consider most important are uh, starred and that that means we can easily access them. And so uh, share the channels are they have to be public and uh, sh that, then they're shared with other people on the team and you can invite others. You can click this link or you can just mention someone. So if I invite uh, Mike, who's our CTO, I could just add him to this channel and uh, I can you know invite him that way. Or you can do slash invite and then enter their name. And that's another way to invite people to a channel. And you'll also need to invite Janice to the channel. So uh, there's Janice. And now uh, let's invite Janice. So now Janice is in the channel. You might say hi, but you'll see that Janice doesn't respond to that. That's because this is a shared channel and you'll need to mention them first. So Janice needs to know that the message is for them. And then Janice responds. And then I'll, let's say I want to manage alerts for this channel. I'll just mention Janice and I'll say alerts. And because we have multiple bots,
connects it to Janus. Janus will ask you which bot. So um, you can search your list from uh, from here, or I'll just, I know the name of this bot. It's called Janus on Facebook. So I'll just uh, enter that, and Janus will reply. And you can see everything is disabled here. So I can enable alerts just for this channel. You won't get those push notifications uh, that, uh, that you might get um, for alerts that you've added or are managing from your direct message with Janus. You won't get those in a, uh, by default in a channel because that can be annoying if you have a whole team that are collaborating in a channel and you have Janus in the channel and everybody's getting an alerts, so that's annoying. So what you have to do is you'll want to enable the, those push notifications. So you just click here, channel settings, and you go to notification preferences and you'll see that by default, just anytime somebody mentions my name in the channel, I'll get an alert. But if I want every message, because let's say I set up a channel just for, you know, those high priority alerts, then any new message, uh, you just click that. Finally, you might have some questions for me or for Mike Nathanson, who's our CTO and handles some of the more challenging technical issues. Well, we've actually created uh, a dialogue flow intent so that it would alert us. So if I just head over here to dialogue flow, uh, you can see that uh, we have an intent called, this one's called alert for Josh and uh, Mike actually has one as well. And, uh, and we've created all these training phrases. And we've created an entity. So if someone says I was talking to Josh Barkin or I was talking to Barkin or um, uh, Joshua or whatever. So uh, variations of my name, there's the, the dollar sign Josh. So we can include that in the response. You say, is Josh around? Uh, we haven't added the alert yet. I'm not going to add it to a channel because probably other people on my team aren't going to want that. That's where I might use my direct message. And uh, I'll just say alerts. And I'll click reply. And I'll click manage. And you'll see that we have that one custom alert. So I'll just search for my intents. There it is, alert for Josh. Okay. So now when somebody sends a message, uh, I'll get a custom alert. Is Josh around? And there you'll see that, uh, that the alert comes in. And then I can jump into the conversation here. Just click this link and then I can take over and, you know, and start communicating with you. So I hope that helps. Uh, just a couple of different strategies for managing alerts and uh, be able to manage your conversational experience.